So I got, I got, a, I got a question. When are you guys going to, when are you guys going to start believing that you're worth it? I believe it. It's just hard getting everybody else to believe it, but it really don't matter what they believe. So. <coughs> So, before people will start to believe you, you have to believe it, right? <coughs> but for real, it's like when it, for some of you guys, it's, it has happened and it's clicked and you're just like, you know, it's gonna happen. But for the rest of you guys, I'm gonna ask you when. when, when you can you tell who's who? Yeah. You can? That's what I just said. It's like when you start to believe it, it's like others can tell. Yes, it's so true. This is what I want to talk to you guys today about. It's like your future. When are you going to start believing that you're worth it? When are you going to start believing that you can do it? When are you guys going to start believing that there's more to this life than what you're experiencing right now? I think for me, it's seeing a noticeable difference. What do you mean? I need, I need to see something, mm -hmm. feel something. I think you're doing a pretty good job rewiring yeah, us, but yeah. we're like, okay, it's the third week. You know, it's just it takes and then time. To put context on this. You know, this is 40 years old. It, it can't go over in six weeks. There's yeah. no way. Exactly. Hello. Right. So <coughs> it's the wiring that you're right. doing. And once we, and once we get that rewired, things will start. It, once once we get it rewired, it doesn't matter how long it takes. Whether if it took you 40 years to get there, or if it took you 40 years to get there. If it took you 12 months, like once we got you rewired here, it doesn't matter how long it's going to take. We know that we're going to succeed. Period. We know that we're worth it. You we have to be honest with your stuff too. I know, you know, with the trackers and stuff. Like, don't bullshit there. You're lying to yourself and to anybody else. This is one thing that I tell the camps every time. It's like, some days I know you don't feel the best or you don't feel. Um, as confident, or you don't feel like doing your squat goddess, or you don't feel whatever. But in reality, and the quicker you guys accept this, um, <coughs> the quicker it'll help. In reality, success doesn't care how you feel. Success doesn't care if you had a bad day at work. Success doesn't care if. Success <coughs> you, guys you guys understand that? Mm -hmm. The difference between. Successful people and unsuccessful people is the successful people will continue to do what unsuccessful people won't because they choose not to. It doesn't matter how long it's going to take. When you're straight, <coughs> all right, it takes. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long it takes. You just know it's going to happen. And you're right. It's not going to take 14 days. You've been in, so this is week three. We're in the middle of week three, so contextually, about 20 days. And you said this was 40 years. Mm -hmm. 40 years, 20 days. Well, let's, let's, 20 years, sorry. Thank you. 20 was okay. Right, 20 years, right? <laughs> <laughs> but do you see the, do you see the math? Yes. 20 years compared to 20 days. Yeah, it's lower. But the thing that we also said last time is like, it's not going to take a long time. It won't. It doesn't take a long time. You know, I'm going to take Heather's goal. In six months, in six months, in six months, your life can be drastically different. It doesn't take a it just takes the right mindset. We've seen, we've seen it. 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 I'm not saying trying to sell you guys snake oil. We've seen it happen. You just gotta be consistent and make up your mind that it will happen. Um, but yeah, think about your future. Think about how many of kids. So think about your kids and. A great example that you're going to set for them. Think about their mentality when they come up against adversity, when the real world starts to, you know, become a little bit harder. <clears throat> and you guys being the example to them and letting them know, sweetie, junior, it's like, you can do it, but nobody's going to hand it to you. Think about that. Because Quitting and starting over, that habit doesn't stop with you guys. The habits that you guys establish are passed down generation to generation to generation. It's cyclical. So you can either be a great example or you can be not a great example.
oh, this is more than about, this has to be more than just about you guys and fitting into that dress or that bikini or what. This has to be more because it affects so much of other stuff, especially for you guys that have kids. But you guys will be a great example for them. <coughs> it starts here first. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. <coughs> what we want you guys to do is think about that stuff. Think about you being that strong father, that strong mother, being the example um, that they look up to. Think about all the confidence and the excitement that you're going to have. Think about like when you walk into a room, social gathering, restaurant, bar, party, whatever, and like people can tell you, you ask, it's like, can you tell? Can you tell when somebody's confident? You don't have to ask. You don't, you don't, you don't, have, to, you don't, need, you don't have to speak to them. Yeah. <laughs> Just, right? They have an aura, an aura about them. It's like, that can happen. Think about that. And it's like, you can feel the eyes. Like people, the people that have that confidence, it's like, they know that people are like, paying attention to guys and girls, whatever it is, it's like, it's like they can control a room and they're just like unshakable. When are you guys going to start believing that that's for you, that you can have that, that it's completely achievable? Because when you decide, it's like, you know what, that's right, I do deserve that, I am going to get it, I am worth it. When you guys decide, things will really, really start and like I said, it won't matter because um, you're going to have those negative thoughts oh man this is not happening as fast as I would like it to right how many of you guys have had that situation this isn't happening as fast as I would like it everybody's hand should be raised <coughs> this, I'm not even talking about fitness we can talk about other things you set out to achieve a task a goal and it takes longer than you think it's going to take and again you can either be patient and keep working towards it or you can quit those are your two decisions I'm scared after this six weeks. I'm just going to <coughs> Of what? It's hard. It's, well, if it was easy. It will be hard. Everybody you would have already. Like, I hope for that full cool rewiring. If it was easy, you wouldn't even be here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? If it was easy, none of you guys would be here. You would have done it on your own. Oh, and that's a, And that's the thing is, like, you guys trying to accomplish whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish on your own. How many of you guys... How many of you guys, truly auditing yourself, how many of you guys are know that whatever your goal was that you wrote down on day one, how many of you guys are going to achieve that in the next three weeks? Raise your hand. Good. For some of you guys, it might take longer than the next three weeks. Yes? Right? Some of us will take and no, a boob job, too. And no, right. Just kidding. <laughs> and, uh, and, and think about this. It's like... Where were you at before camp, and are you going to be able to accomplish that on your own? Honestly, we know the answer. Because if you could have, you would have, right? So it's very, very important, again, that you find yourself in a great situation surrounded by people who are going to be there, (coughs) that are going to help you, that are going to help keep you accountable, that are going to help be your inspiration, your motivation. Because doing it on your own hasn't worked. (coughs) Um, you guys are just scratching the surface you guys are just scratching the surface of your potential and I know you, some of you guys are still having trouble, difficulty seeing it that's okay, that's completely okay but it's there I've seen women and men do the same things, come through camp, be in the same similar circumstances and situations and I've seen them blossom and I've seen them flourish and I've seen them thrive and the person that came in on enlistment day to the person that they are now, completely different. Not just physically, not just physically, but mentally too as well. And it's there for you, it's there for you. But again, going back to my original question, when are you gonna start (coughs) believing? When are you gonna start believing? Because if you really aren't able to do that, if you're like, oh, this is not for me. Oh, you know, I've had kids, or I'm too busy, or if if that's what you believe, we still got a lot of work to do. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. I'm so busy, I can't make this work. Or, oh, maybe just this is the way it's supposed to be for my 40s, my 50s, my 30s, whatever. Maybe I'm just supposed to be that. 
soccer mom with a soccer mom body and this and that and that. That's all bullshit. That's the lies that you tell yourselves. This is more about kettlebell swings, burpees, and squats. This is about here. When you guys start to get that stuff rewired and dialed in, it's going to be amazing. It is amazing.